Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reviewing to episode 10 of our dating story. I know I was supposed to do this hours ago. Like, I came home, I ate, I watched a movie. I was supposed to eat dinner too, like, a couple hours later, but, um, I cleaned the bathroom. kind of really not done. And then I took a nap. <laughs> so here we are at 1 o'clock in the morning watching anime. But other than that, it's gonna get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, ooh, we not getting the opening today? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, Runa. Oh, don't say that. Literally me talking to my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, but you kind of wish she didn't. Wait from the beginning, though. And he was trying to say something too and she just runs off. Oh. Once again, the fact that he also remembers too. Fucking husband material. Yeah. You don't have to be rude about it. Well, yeah, I mean, in a way, you're like the black sheep, babe. We've already, like, talked about this. If you really want your sister to be happy with him, you gotta tell her. It's already awkward as is because, of course, now he's choosing between two girls. And the fact that he chose um, Maria's poster over his girlfriend's is super upsetting. 
I don't know about that. Good for Nicole. Oh, never mind. That's Nicole. Oh, she probably does. <laughs> Once again, she get more speak and roll than she has in the first half of the show. <laughs> no. In a way, they're close to that. I mean, especially if you have no money. Anybody can be a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. There was something else I was going to say, but I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> Aww. It's just, you know, maybe these two are doing something to get something for him. Who really knows? We'll find out soon. But at the same time, they he really needs to apologize to her. And I think in a way, Runa needs to apologize as well.
I mean, but you are the sugar daddy. <laughs> it's just the fact that you don't let them know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's Nicole's ex. <laughs> well, I thank God, you know, my future boyfriend will probably never meet any of my exes. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Nicole. Okay, so do you want to get her back? Is that the reason why you're talking to Rune again? Yeah. Why? <laughs> At least he's also acknowledging that some guys don't are. Some guys won't acknowledge that.
Oh my god. <laughs> if she didn't fall in love with him all over again, oh my god. <laughs> Cuties. <laughs> yeah, how's that go? Uh, I mean, good luck to you. She's right. Unfortunately. Because, of course, they weren't going to let him immediately apologize right then and there.
She is. Well, I mean, thanks to you, they got back together. Mm-hmm. So, are we continuing this relationship? Aww, you silly. <laughs> the way that kind of signifies that yes, they're back together. I mean, yes, after their little predicament, I'm happy that they're back together. Same thing for Nicole. I mean, psh. I was expecting more for Nicole and her BF to get back together, especially, like, I was expecting it more to happen in the next episode, but because we only, I think, have, what, two more episodes left before we're done? What the frick is about to happen next? Like, <laughs> we had confessions all up in here today. Like, oh, but, of course, <laughs> what just goes completely south and you just feel bad for him? Because, of course, yes, you want everybody to truly be happy in this show, but there's always one character, our characters, that unfortunately can't get that happy ending as everyone else. And, you know, maybe it's just about you need a little bit more time. But she was asking the real questions, like, what do you like about me? Is it this? Is it that? And stuff. And then it's like, am I also supposed to like you based on looks and everything? Because, I mean, like, okay... Yeah, looks are, uh, I think for me, they're, they're a top tier, but not number one. Um, it's more person, excuse me, <laughs> it's more personality, um, and the way, oh, that's cute, once again, girl, um, and the way you make me feel. It's about, like, hey, can you make me laugh even when I have, like, a shitty day at work or a shitty day in general? Um, can you, can we talk without, like, you know, not us arguing or anything, but, like, without saying things that we regret? Are we able to, you know, get along? But, like, when you have that chemistry with someone, all those things that you've kind of listed, they kind of go away. And such, I'm not saying, like, every girl has, like, a checklist of ish. I mean, because, like, okay, so let's go back to 20... 2018, 2019, ask? So, my, my recent boyfriend, my last one that I had, because I've been single for a while now, um... He, he, me and him, I, I cannot believe I'm about to explain the situations of me and him again. Um, let's call him, what have I called him? Well, okay, military man. Because mm -hmm. he's in the military. With him, and he was also a sub, <laughs> ain't that funny. Um, with him, he was very sweet. 
like I've said before, very kind, generating, nurturing-ish like that. We would talk every freaking day, just as much as I talk to, like, my guy friends, my girlfriends, whatever, and such. Um, we would, when, when Skype was still, you know, the biggest thing-ish before, like, Discord came in and killed it. <laughs> um... We were always on Skype, like, every single night and such. We would watch, like, a whole bunch of different animes together and everything. And so I, um, I love the conversations that we had and such. Because we could just sit and talk about anything for hours and such. I think the first night we started talking, we were up until, like, I think 6 o'clock in the morning. And then I finally went to sleep at, like, 7 and I was like, bro, what the freak? Why the heck am I up? And such. And mind you, like, this guy, like, to me, um, comparing it to my other, well, my my one other boyfriend and stuff, um, he was just way different. And I, I remember, like, initially there was a point in time where I was like, if this dude came down here let's say for deployment or whatever and we really got to like know each other even on a deeper connection and everything and we continued this oh i would probably end up marrying this dude there was a time where like yeah i really truly was thinking about it but <coughs> excuse me um long story short he ghosted me and i i don't really like to talk about the fact that he ghosted me even though it's been so many years later um not because it, it still hurts i think it, it, mm, I'll take that back. It hurts still a little bit, but not as much um, as it did in the beginning. In the beginning, I really, really, really did not want to talk about it, because, especially to my mom, um, because I was just the type of person where, I, and I still am, I am the type of person where if anything happens, I will shut down immediately. I will literally, I, I'm not saying like cut people off, but I would literally not sometimes talk to people. Like there were people who I was still talking to at the time, my other subscribers who I'm also close to, um, my friends and stuff. But like, I feel like when I talk to my parents and stuff, it feels completely different than like your girlfriend or your guy friends and such. Um, and I really didn't want to talk to my mom about him. And so finally one day I just said, screw it. I'll tell her. Um, so I told her. I broke down and I cried. Um, but now I look at that as an experience of being like, yes, he treated me so sweet, so kindly and everything. But the way he just ended the relationship. My mom thinks it was for something else. Um, I think personally, if I could say, maybe because of the fact that I met his family a little too fast and such. Um, I can't really say that in a way. It could have been so many things that's the thing maybe he just got tired of texting me and or talking to me and such like that's the thing um so I take everything from that previous relationship and then whoever the heck I am gonna you know date next even though I am married to so many anime husbandos <laughs> um Whoever I date next, like, I will take those lessons that I've learned from the previous, like, relationship and then try to be better in the next one because I, I mean, there were times where I always clearly thought, like, oh my god, it's my epic fault that he broke up with me. <clears throat> if only I wasn't X, Y, and Z, um, we would probably still be together. But, like, really, who knows? That's the thing. Nobody really truly knows. And... Even, I'm not saying, like, all guys are bad. We've talked about this before with this series and such. Um, there are good guys and there are not so good guys. There are, <laughs> there are nice guys and such. Um, but, like I always say, he's out there for me. It, it may take him, even though, like, I can say at whatever time, what, what time is it? One thirty two in the morning, wondering, but like, oh my god, where the hell is he? And, you know, he's out there for me. He, he's waiting for me just as much as I'm waiting for him. And who knows? I could be walking down the streets of, like, Shibuya. <laughs> and we just, boom, <laughs> run into each other. But you really never know where you're going to find love. So just once again, always be positive and such. But, yeah, going back into this episode, it was really sweet and nurturing and adorable and wholesome as fuck. I can't 
too many feels, like way too many feels. Oh my God, the, the sugar daddy situation. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing about that for days. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 10 of our dating story. If you guys enjoyed it, please. Excuse me. Please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next either Friday or Saturday. Because, you know, by next week, aka Monday, um, I really know. Because today's Saturday now. So by tomorrow, tomorrow is the start of my two weeks of hell at the store. I don't know how it's going to go. It might be good. It might be bad. I really have no freaking clue. But I won't know. But just in case, if something, because normally I have it either come out on Friday or Saturday. But if it comes to a point where I come home next Friday and I am exhausted. Because when I came home, I was kind of exhausted last night as well. Um... If I have to, I'll make a post or anything about it. But just if you don't see anything come out Friday, just expect it to come out Saturday morning. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.